In this tutorial, I'll be covering how I modeled this plastic squeeze bottle. First, I took photos of the actual product, and then we will be importing these pictures into the model. So I go to File, New, and I made a part template, in which the part template itself has planes that are already visible, and I've set my units to inches. If your units is not set to inches, you can go to Tools, and then Options, click on Document Properties, click on Units, and select Inch Pound Second. Hit OK. First, you can click on the front plane and hit Sketch. And you'll, we're going to need to use the Sketch Picture tool. If you don't have the Sketch Picture tool, you'll have to go to Tools, Customize, click on Commands, then Sketch. Then find the last icon, the one with the mountain and sun. Click drag on that picture and drop it into your menu palette. Hit OK when you're done. So I'll click on sketch picture. I'll insert the first picture. And I have to scale it because it's too large. So I'll type in 4.45 inches, which is the height. And then for the width, I want to change it to 2 inches. First, I have to uncheck lock aspect ratio. And then I can dial in 2 inches. Then I'd like to center this picture about the right plane. So in this X location, I will enter minus 1. So it will move the picture over by 1 inch. And then I like to add transparency. I'll click on Full Image and increase transparency to 0.6. The reason for this is to allow the sketches to be visible over the sketch picture. I'll exit the sketch. And I'll add my next picture. I click on the right plane this time. And then I'll add a sketch, and I'll insert a sketch picture. I'll click on my side view this time. My side view comes in. I'll have to scale that 4.445 inches. And then I'll show you a trick to center this picture. I highlight the width. I hit Control-C to copy. Paste in the X location. I'll divide by 2. And then place a minus sign in front of it, and it will center itself. On transparency, I'll add full image transparency again and boost it to 0.6. And we have our sketches placed. I like to label my picture so it's easier to <clears throat> know where the pictures are when I am going to, if I want to hide them or show them. So I'm going to go ahead and label these. And then I am going to build some planes. So one way to make a plane is to use the Reference Geometry tool. You go under Reference Geometry, click on Plane. And then you click on the plane that you want to make an offset of. And here I've already dialed in 1, which is the height that I'd like. <clears throat> and I'll hit Check. Then I need to make a couple more planes. Another way to make a plane is to hold down Control and then left click and drag a plane and you can see it automatically drags a plane to where you'd like I'm just going to drop it there if you wanted to make a whole number then you can just dial in and I'll say 2.6 for example and this I made at, at the widest point of this bottle here finally I'm going to make one plane at the top and I will use reference geometry again and I'll dial in specifically 4.45 which is the height of the bottle and then I am going to create on this sketch a circle this will start off the bottle exit that sketch I'll click on the middle one I will make an ellipse and I'll start here get the major axis minor axis and just double check on the side view. You can click drag the point and it looks good from the side and front. And then I'll exit out of that. And then on the top, I will add another sketch and I'll use point. Click on the center and exit out. Now I'm ready to make a loft. A lot of people don't know that you can loft to a point, but you certainly can. The point is considered a profile. And Make sure you're not using surface loft, but which is all orange. Go under features and click on the yellow, which is lofted boss slash base, which is solid. I'll click on that. I don't want to start at the point, so I'm going to clear this. 
and I'm going to start at the circle. So I'll start at the circle, then I will go to the ellipse, and then I will go to the endpoint. And then on the start end constraint, I am going to add on the end constraint normal to profile. And you can see how it has made that nice and smooth. Then I can go ahead and stretch this out by increasing the amount of uh, normal to profile constraint and increase it to 2.5. That looks about right there. And I'm going to hit check. But before I, I do that, I'll show you these green ba balls here. These can be used to, if for example, you clicked on the wrong location, these green balls can be used to untwist your loft. As you can see, I am going to, if by accident you clicked because it depends on the place that you click on this loft. <clears throat> if you clicked not on the center or on the same endpoints, it will twist it. To untwist it, just grab the green control ball and bring it back. And you can see it untwists. I'll hit check. And then I am ready to make the remainder of this bottle. I'll go in the front view. I'll click front plane and hit sketch. I'll make a cross section. And I will draw a section of the remainder of this bottle. It's kind of translucent. You can see underneath there. And I will make that cross section. Now it's okay if I made it a little bit over. That's fine. I'm going to click on this endpoint and I'm going to hold down control button, click on the edge, and hit pierce. You can see how it snaps to that. And then I'm going to go ahead and click features tab and hit revolve. I, I will click on this to be the axis of revolution and merge is checked which is what we want to merge it to the body and there we have our bottle now you can go to view and hide all types if you want to hide all the planes and then I'm going to go ahead and shell this well before that I'll I'll make a fillet on this edge maybe 30 thousandths so 0 0.03 and then I'm going to shell it I'll shell this out and make this 0 0.02 on 20 thousandths for the shell and then I'm going to go ahead and bring back my planes and go in the front view again and make this cap on the front plane I'll hit sketch and make a cross section again to revolve and I'm going to just trace this cap and I'll just go ahead and zoom in so I can get this little detail I'm gonna make a groove now obviously this is not a production part this is just a part that we're gonna be using that we can use to make renderings or for concept generation <clears throat> we're going to revolve this now if I wanted to bring this in a little bit I can just drag this over a little bit uh, and drag this over a little bit also to control that <clears throat> if we want these two points we can hit control and select those two and make these vertical okay and then I'm gonna revolve this and I'm gonna click on this axis and revolve it now I'm gonna make sure to check uncheck merge result because I don't want it to merge to this body and then we have uh, all of our pieces created I'm gonna add a fillet to this cap and maybe 50 thousandths 0 0.05 and if you wanted to make this body transparent you can I'm gonna go to hide all types so you can see it easier you can go to the solid bodies this holds all of the, the bodies I'm gonna click on the shell right click on it and hit change transparency you can see that change there I'm gonna right click on this body and hide it by hitting the glasses and then I'm gonna shell this out I'll click on shell and shell this I'll select the surface that I want to remove 20,000 sounds fine to me and then I'm gonna show this body again and there we have our completed bottom now if you want to change the color of this cap you can go and and highlight the body in the solid bodies folder click on edit appearance and then you can dial in a color by dragging in this field to pick a color this looks about right to me and I'll hit check so there you have it we have the bottle completed and just make sure to hit save and you can label it I'm gonna label this plastic squeeze bottle and I'll save a rev for it, revision 4 for example, and I'll hit save.